Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 24th, 2020. A very special happy birthday to my mom, Nancy. Mom, I know you have been through so, 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 so much this year and I just want you to know I love you so much and I hope that this is the most blessed birthday you have ever experienced. All right, guys, before we get into the auto right, let's address what I'm wearing, okay? <laughs> I feel this was a choice. I made a choice, okay? I do feel a little bit like I'm about to like hop into a Richard Simmons workout and I love it, okay? I love it. I might have a problem with neon. I just bought a pair of shoes that I'm only a six and a half in a shoe and they're by my door. They're white with like, you know, like neon pink and neon green on them. And they kind of look like kid shoes. And I'm also not sorry for that. I, I just think that they are amazing and I love it. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into what's going on here because I do feel like even though there's tons of things still going on, there is a need for playfulness putting on your acrylic jewelry <laughs> right? and just living like it's the 80s or something. I don't know. So they were just kind of like some little, can you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that from the lamps, but just a few words being sketched out. But of course, I will pull on that as we go and we will get the messages through. So I did keep seeing a spiral in my mind. And I was going to put it down and they said, don't put the spiral down, just put the word. And I know why, because I think a lot of people would have been watching the footage of that and would have been jumping to conclusions. It was going to get people going in the wrong direction. So anyway, let's go back. Uh, so cycles, we're in the, hmm, I can't say we're, we're about three quarters of the way through the current cycle. Okay. And then they went right into cyclones, so tornadoes. Everything's a whirlwind. Everything's just kind of kicking up. Everything is swirling around. And then they went into spirals. As I said, they wanted me to write the word and not draw it, um, which feels a little bit like being hypnotized, okay? And we're waking up from this hypnotic state. And also, uh, there's something there where we're getting there's something there where we're getting pulled into another understanding, another kind of breaking open. That's the best way I could put it. But it's not gonna be as profound as a lot of people are expecting. So let's go into that a little bit more. So things are changing, things are shifting. There's gonna be more of the same that we've been talking about for the past two weeks. If you did not go and see those videos, go back. <laughs> go back and look at them. And I would definitely, you know, I've always said you can go back to any reading on my channel and see if it still resonates but especially now these are becoming more and more timeless it's just the week that they get released is the time collectively that we're ready to hear that bit of information but i think we can go back and see any of the videos at any time and just see what pieces are making sense for you okay does that make sense okay <laughs> so we have these portals and spirals and breaking away from the hypnotic state and going not into another hypnotic state. So this is another thing that we tend to do as humans. We want to replace one conditioning with another. We see it all the time. You hear me talk about it all the time in the spiritual community where people will take their ego consciousness and apply it to their spiritual practice. This is not what we're talking about here. Okay. So it's a bit of a leap. It's a bit of a hop. Everything is going to be happening. It's going to seem like it's very abrupt on the surface but the deeper changes are happening uh, little by little. Does that make sense? Okay. So it, they said portals, changes, cloudiness, confusion, release, floods. So what really is going to be reflected out in the world is what is happening to us emotionally, <laughs> right? So we're getting flooded with emotion. We're getting overwhelmed. We're getting um, kind of, we're getting carried away. Now, if you're in a flood zone, take care here. Okay. Just be very, very careful. This may, it almost feels like it's a recovery from floods. And we've been saying for a long time that there's going to be earth changes and all that. So maybe the flood isn't actually happening right at this time, but you're recovering from it. Okay. Overwhelm. Yeah. 
looking at things and going, how will we ever make it the same? And that's a moment for you to stop and realize that it's not meant to be the same. You're supposed to carry on in a different direction, okay? For some, okay? Uh, so releasing, releasing the confusion, the cloudiness. So there's, there's very interesting messages going on here. So there's this message of like the clouds are lifting, flowing away, and then we have some confusion about what to do next because without the story, who are we? Without being dictated to, what do we do, right? So there's a whole lot of trying to recover from that. And then we have um, destruction, like a full on message of destruction, but they also had me connect changes and destruction to peace. So don't fight it. Don't fight it. You want to have some awareness around uh, where you need to make personal changes. Okay. And we get so, I keep talking about this. We're in this self-preservation uh, place because we get scared. And that's what we do. We go immediately into our intellect to see what the solution is going to be. We need to be on all engines. Okay. The other engine that never gets fired up is the heart, right? Because we get scared because that's, that feels like a dangerous place. We feel too much if, well, you know what it is. I'm getting a message here that we've shut down our hearts because we knew that the ego was starting to be the boss. It was starting to take us over. It was starting to get us down a road that um, maybe we thought the heart couldn't handle or there was going to be, again, that overwhelm, being flooded with emotions, being flooded with anger. That's where a lot of truths have not had room to come about because we would react with such anger and it would be our absolute and utter destruction. Okay. So we would want to find someone to blame. We would go to war. We would, you know, all of these things. So when we go through the process of evolving, that's where we can start hearing the truth. Yes. So changes are coming in. We have this destructive moment, but then ultimately it leads us to peace. Okay, so find your playfulness to get through this time. Again, I was tuning in like, what should I wear for this video? And I was like, because I bought these earrings when I bought, you guys remember the neon green sweater <laughs> from the winter? I bought these to go with that because it just felt so 80s and I just loved it. It was so cute. And I whipped these out and I was like, but they're plastic. So I would be wearing plastic. And I was like, I love them. Okay, they're neon pink. And I've got this neon merch shirt. Yes, I'm wearing merch. What? Okay. <laughs> you can't really see it, but I've got my little emblem on here. But, um, you know, and I was just like, th this color makes me happy. So why not? Right? Little things. You can tune into little things. If you want pancakes with, <laughs> you know, my pancake gig, right? Pancakes with wild organic blueberries and pure maple syrup on top with a little bit of ghee do it up. Okay. This is that time to see where can I make, <laughs> where can I make little adjustments so that I can enjoy my life more. Okay. So I don't know why this is coming up as an example, but let's say, I don't even know if this is happening still, but I'm thinking of like a sporting event, right? And it ends up getting canceled because there's a thunderstorm. Well, instead of being mad that it got canceled because of a thunderstorm, enjoy the thunderstorm safely, get indoors, don't be in the middle of lightning, okay? <laughs> I don't know. In Colorado Springs, we get a ton of lightning. And if it's even thundering, you don't really want to be outside. So you know what I mean. Anyway, find a way to enjoy the little things. Then we have mixed energies. So there's all this energy of like, there are all these things changing and being revealed. And it also has this energy though of the peace where we're taking a little bit of a break. You know how it might play out. It could play out in a lot of different ways, but it could be something like, like something will hit the headlines, maybe. I don't know if it'll be this week, but at some point, something will hit the headlines. And it's like, yep, well, we knew that. Okay, I feel better that they, that finally happened. That person was finally captured or that person is finally going into trial or that person is being held accountable now. What we cannot do is go into the anger mode. I know this is going to be hard. Some of the stuff that's coming up is going to be really hard to not be angry about this, but it's only going to drag us down. 
and the earth responds to what we are doing, even emotionally. We're part of a giant electrical, if you want to see it that way, field, a field of energy. And what we kick off is, is going to cause a response. Okay, I feel like the lighting is weird in this video. It's super cloudy. We're supposed to like have end of the world storms today. I don't even know. Okay, <laughs> it looks really gloomy out. So sorry if the lighting is weird. So we have mixed energies. That's what we were talking about there. Dominance. So we're going to see this, uh, this rise and people trying to regain their power. And that can be on an individual level. If somebody knows like you're about to step out of this relationship, you're done with it, whatever, they could try to, you know, do anything they can to be dominant over you. Or we could see structures that are in place that typically have power trying to, they're, literally they're falling down and they're just grabbing onto anything they can get a hold of on the way down. It's not going to work. Those days are done and we need to have our energy in the right place. Here's how not to do the energy, okay? Let me, that was my button. <laughs> I got my little pointer pen thing. It's a cute pen though, right? Also makes me very happy. That's why I'm holding it. <laughs> I love teal, whatever. Um, but how not to <laughs> work with this energy would not be, let me find something that I can nitpick about in someone else. Let me see where I can try to be more controlling to that person. Let me see where I can give unsolicited advice. Let me see where I can be hypercritical and blah, 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 blah. So catch yourself if you are judging. Catch yourself if you're about to make a snide joke. You know those jokes that people put out there and they, they think that they're just so original and so witty and no one pays attention to you? There's a reason. <laughs> People are picking up on the energy behind that and they don't like it, all right? Let that be some feedback that maybe that wasn't the nicest thing to say or maybe that, you know, or even do better than that. Like go deeper in what was your motivation for doing that? Are you trying to drag someone down to make yourself feel better? What's your deal, <laughs> right? That's what you're looking at. All right, and find ways to laugh this week as much as you can. All right, prestige falls. Prestige falls. No desire. Leveling. Non-action, though tempted to react. So it's one of those things where we're watching people just like, again, the things that we held so dear, the things that we thought were so important, now they, they just don't even matter anymore. And this leveling, it's like leveling the playing field. Everybody is equal at this point now, okay? And no one can have control over you without your permission. Let's get to the cards. All right. And I am using my new favorite deck. It will be in the description box below. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure that you are subscribed, hit that notification bell, and of course, liking and sharing the video helps out a ton. I appreciate it. All right, so we do have a card. Oh, I love this card. So it's Azurite. Get laser focused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited about that, but yeah, uh, laser focused. This is also about truth, a lot of truth coming out. and. The truth not, I got to really drive this home. The truth not making us angry. It is, okay, I got to back up. The truth will make us angry, but we're not giving into the anger. That's what I'm trying to get across. And we're just happy to know the truth. But you are not going to be able, none of us are going to be able to understand those truths that are coming out until we understand our personal truth. What holds us back? What makes us think that we have to win all the time? Where might some of you are going to be really cutting some people out of your life? I think I was it last week or the week before where I was saying, you know, I'm I was connecting with somebody, having this whole conversation. This person was at a very big distance from me and the egotistical statements and the diminishing, you know, like I mentioned that I was going to go off and do something. And this person was like, good luck with that. You know, it was just 
negative and nasty. And I mean, when I say negative, I mean like, no, you're, you're up to something, right? I saw the truth of that situation and I saw some personal truths as well where I felt guilty walking away from this person because I, I don't know, I think I thought I owed this person something. So I think a lot of us out there, we're gonna continue that trend. Um, maybe some of you are finally seeing the truth of a situation and you're walking away, all right? But get laser focused about not just what's going on in your own story, but what's happening out in the world, okay? Oh yes, Rainbow Obsidian, heal your heart. Oh, finally, there's a little bit of a break here. It may not feel like a break for the entire week, depending on what's going on at the time. I do record these ahead of time. So speaking of which, can we address this? I have people who, when I do the premiere, they think that I am literally streaming live and in the chat room. No, I'm recording and editing the videos usually ahead of time because I just gotta make sure that there's always content and then I'm in the chat live. I've actually had people sort of imply that I read something they said in the chat and then incorporated it in the video. <laughs> No, I recorded the video. I can't even do this. Okay, anyway, so heal your heart. Uh, it is time. <laughs> it's time to, you know what? It's time to let some things go, but the rainbow part of this is really standing out to me. So it's time to balance some of those chakras and take in all the blessings that are available to us that we maybe have been blocking out because of our fears, because we feel like we have to be constantly on watch for what might happen. Then we have Amazonite. Now, before I even read what the message is, there's the card. Amazonite is very peaceful. It's very go with the flow. Okay, so this is, I think Siri <laughs> is listening to me right now. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> she went right back off. I don't know, girl, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, the whole phone went off. And it, creepy. Okay, so anyway, it's go with the flow. It's finding your peace. And you can even tune in to Archangel Sandalfin to help you balance your chakras, because I was saying that with the uh, the rainbow obsidian, right? So balancing all those chakras and being more in alignment and in tune and grounded. Okay, so this says loosen your grip, <laughs> right? Loosen your grip, again, go with the flow. Things are not going to be happening in the way that you expect them to, all right? And the more we fight them, it's just gonna be unpleasant. And you're harming the collective when you do that too. We all need to be on board with one another. Then we have Lapidolite. So absorbing the negativity, absorbing uh, pollution, basically. And this says, recall your dreams. So this is clearing the path so that you can get your messages through, okay? So this is where the portal is. This is where the portal to the other side. This is where, you know, your angels and spirit team can communicate with you, right? So be open to that. It's very imperative that you be meditating before you go to sleep. That way you can get your messages. All right, let me get this other deck here. The sky's starting to look really creepy. I think that's our card, is it? Oh my gosh, it is, okay. <laughs> I, you, whenever a card's sticking out, I don't just automatically assume that's it. I just kind of tune in for a second. And then when I saw what it was, I was like, oh, definitely. So uh, what was this? Uh, Lapidolite was recall your dreams, and this is dreams. <laughs> so it's royal fern and large grass yellow. This, uh, you guys, meditate before you go to sleep. Have a dream journal next to your bed. Uh, first thing in the morning, if you can meditate and try to recall what's going on there in your dreams, lots of messages coming through our dreams. So here is something very interesting. We, we need to keep things just very level here in the physical because yeah, they're opening up those portals to the dream world and coming through with the messages that way, because there's something going on with us in the physical where I'm not really sure I even understand this message. Something going on in the physical where it's going to have too much interruption. It's gonna, the message is going to be uh, interfered with, okay? 
So in the dream state, although interference can still happen, you know, your fears, your subconscious can really start making you have nightmares and then you wake up in the morning like, what does that mean? Oh my gosh. You know, but rather if you clear away, then this can be a clear portal for you to get some understanding. Now, it's not just understanding about you as an individual. It's going to be understanding about where we're headed. And if you take an egotistical standpoint and you're like, oh, I had a dream, a prophetic dream about the world. And now everybody has to listen to what I'm saying. There are so many people out there doing that. That's not what we're in this for. It's not so someone can raise their hand like the nerd in class. And I was the nerd in class. That's me. <laughs> I'm nerds. Uh, but raise their hand like a nerd in class and go, I have the answer. I have the answer. I have the answer. We all have the answer. Okay. And we're all supposed to be working together. So this isn't the time to try to like be out in front of everybody and glowing so you get all the attention. Well, we, that's ego. We got to knock that off. All that stuff is bringing us down. Okay. Very important for us to hear right now. So. Remember your dreams as much as you can. If you wake up in the morning, because I hear this all the time, if you wake up in the morning and you can't remember your dreams, it's okay. You don't have to remember the logistical details of it. You just have to pay attention to how you feel. Do you feel drained? Do you feel peaceful? Do you feel giddy? Do you feel, you know what I'm saying? Like mellow. What, what is the feeling? Yes. Write that down and see how things play out. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. 